All right, now I'm going to talk to you about mixing. Mixing is the process of making your instruments sound clean, making them sound in sync with each other, and making them sound listenable to others besides yourself. The way you mix is you are going to be changing volumes and you're going to be adding processing effects like EQs, compressors, delays, and reverbs. I'm going to give you a overview of how to do that in Soundtrap. So let's get it. Let's get it going. Um, this is the demo beat that we've been working on. So I'm going to play it one more time real quick. Cool. So there's not a lot going on in this beat. It's just a loop and some drums, but we can still do some processing on it. So the way we look at the mixing process is on our mixing knobs right here and then our master volume at the bottom. So the master volume is controlled down here. You can bring it up, you can bring it down. And then the way you change the value knobs on your instruments is left and right. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do a little bit of leveling. And what leveling is, is just tinkering with the knobs on the instruments so they are at a decent level. I already feel like the 808 is a little loud. And, and the keys are a little loud, so I'm going to bring the keys down. And then I'm just going to see how the drums will fit in after that. So this is this is the, the leveling process of mixing. And you're just looking for pockets where the instruments sound good with each other. So it sounds pretty good right now. I'm going to bring down this open hat. I'm going to bring it back one more time. Cool. So the leveling process is, is pretty much done. So the next thing I want to do is add some processing effects. So if I wanted to add like an EQ or a filter or something, all I have to do is click on the instrument itself. Then I can go to effects. And I can add effects. So you see this 808 already has an EQ on it. So if I wanted to add another effect, I can just press add effect. And I'm going to add a filter. So where are the filters? Flangers. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to add a filter. And I'm going to listen to this 808. I'm going to solo it. And then I'm going to go back to filters my effects and I kind of want a real thick 808 so let me go ahead and carve this out Put the looper tool on so I can listen. And 
That sounds pretty good. I'm going to bring the, the bass up and the amp. All right. That sounds pretty good. And I want my kick to, to hit a little bit harder. So I'm going to go to add effects. And I'm going to put the volume on it. Bring the volume up. That sounds good. I'm gonna add an EQ. Get some more low end. All right. I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna put like a high pass filter on the hi hat so I can do that a lot. So. Bring down these open hats. I'm gonna put an EQ on the piano. Space, so I'm going to add a reverb, and that's the room. So, all right, so let's see how everything sounds together. Cool. Sounds good to me. So that is the mixing process in Soundtrap. If you want to control the volumes, you control the volumes with your volume knob right here. If you wanted to add processing, you click on the instrument and then you just add an effect when you see the add effect button and you can add whatever effects you want to add. All right. See you in the next video.